This news update is brought to you by. This is the 6 p.m. Barbados Today update for Monday, September 29, 2014. I'm Carol Williams. Good evening. Housing Minister Dennis Kelman is hitting back at critics who blasted him for comments he made about residents of Six Men St. Peter. Earlier this month, Kelman described the residents who were complaining about expansion work at Port Ferdinand Marina as quarters. But with statistics in hand from a 2013 Auditor General report on squatting, the minister sought to clarify his statements. And he says here that evidence of squatting within six months century dated back to the mid-1980s. Squatters now make up the majority of the community. Not the auditor, not the scalpel. But I want to say this, huh? <coughs> that anybody will have to be foolish to believe, and especially a person like myself, that had and got such a close connection with six men that all the people in six men can be described as squatters. Let me say this, huh? There are three types of people. Squatters, tenants, and owners. Unfortunately, in six men, as, as I speak, six men, as you know it, there will be two. But if you include Colden, there will be three. Minister Kelman was speaking at a constituency meeting in St. Lucie last night. Businessman Rodney Wilkinson, who's been charged with 67 counts of criminal deception, will have to remain in jail at least for another week. Wilkinson, the director of executive rentals, was expected to apply to the High Court today for bail after being remanded to prison on Saturday. However, his attorney, Marlon Gordon, told Barbados today this afternoon his client could not get on the list today and will have to apply again next Tuesday. Wilkinson's charges stem from investigations by the police fraud squad into complaints from NASCO Finance and Global Finance regarding loans for vehicles that did not exist. Outgoing Fire Chief Wilfred Marshall calls on servicemen and women to maintain the passion for fire safety. Marshall, who served as Chief Fire Officer for the past four and a half years, went on pre-retirement leave today after giving almost 40 years of service. His retirement takes effect on January 1st next year. He says the department has delivered top-notch service to the public over the years, a duty he told officers during the 59th anniversary service at the Calvary Moravian Church that he expected to continue. What I promised when I took up our office is that uh, whatever the call is from the, um, from the people over there, that this fire service has to be able to respond and respond positively. And I'm happy that leaving the farm today that is ready and willing to respond to any call um, that come that any call that comes into us and I'm very proud of that. The benefits enjoyed by all judges in Barbados since 1995 have in large measure been attributed to the leadership and efforts of the late Chief Justice Sir Dennis Williams. That's the position of retired Chief Justice and immediate successor to Sir Dennis, Sir David Simmons. In paying tribute to the prominent jurist during a special sitting of the High Court this morning, Sir David said Sir Dennis was deeply concerned that judges' remuneration and financial security were unsatisfactory. He noted that financial security was a condition of judicial independence, a matter the late Chief Justice strongly defended. Chief Justice Sir Marston Gibson, who led off the tributes, recalled that his first impression of Sir Dennis was a man deep in the law and gracious in manner. Sir Marston also said his conciseness and economy of words have also impacted him to this day. Glowing tributes were also paid by Attorney General Adrian Brathwit and President of the Barbados Bar Association, Tariq Khan. There's regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold.
sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes, your sun power. Over now to Cuba, the government there has put a ban on colognes honoring two leftist icons, Ernesto Che Guevara and late Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez. The government has also served notice that it will take disciplinary action against the pharmaceutical company which produced the perfumes. Many have described the products as disrespectful, saying that those symbols are and will always be sacred. Further afield, thousands of pro-democracy protesters shut down the streets of Hong Kong today. The demonstrators, a mixture of students and supporters of the Occupy Central pro-democracy movement, are angry at Beijing's plan to vet candidates for Hong Kong's 2017 leadership elections. It's extremely chaotic at the moment uh, in the streets around the main government complex. Uh, I can tell you that the main a uh, thoroughfare in the center of town called Connaught Road has been blocked for several hours now, for several kilometers in each direction. Um, and it appears that despite the tear gas and pepper spray that's been fired, uh, it doesn't, the crowds don't appear to be dispersing. They've moved to an area, they've moved into uh, a park adjacent to the government complex called Tma. Uh And uh, from what I can see, the crowds look just as big as they had before. And that BBC report brings us to the end of our 6 p.m. Barbados City update. We'll be back again at 7 in the morning. Until then, remember to log on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you for the latest news and sports. I'm Carol Williams. Have a great evening. This news update is brought to you by... Woo!